In one version of events, President Dwight Eisenhower was flown to Wright-Patterson Air Force Base on February 20th, 1954 to see the debris and dead bodies from the Roswell crash. Some versions weave a far more elaborate tale that Ike met with Nordic-looking creatures and began intergalactic peace talks with them, the Greys and several other alien races. Secret and Express 2, Banned Ideas and Hidden History in the 21st Century. Hello and welcome to another edition of the Stench of Truth. Today we see a credit card uh, restraint bill being passed by the Senate, which does very little to uh, actually help consumers. Uh, uh, it's a lot of gloss and window dressing for something that is a very serious problem, which uh, is not being addressed in this measure, and uh, I suspect that what will happen is a very similar, if not the exact same bill will be passed by the House, uh, and it will have a certain veneer to it which uh, will make it seem like they're doing something to help the consumer in this country, when in fact uh, all it is is window dressing and a lot of huff and puff over nothing. And it really won't do anything to help a lot of people who are in... Uh, very serious debt with credit cards and other things having to rely on them because we're all out of fucking work and can't pay our fucking bills because the economy is so fucking bad. So, uh, don't be fooled by this. Don't be fooled by anything that these people do because it's the same bullshit all the time. You know, they pass a measure and everybody's like, oh, look, we're doing something to help the consumer. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're throwing a couple of bones to starving fucking dogs. That's exactly what you're doing. And while the banks will sit there and they'll cry and moan, it's only because that's what they're supposed to fucking do. They're supposed to cry and moan because they're in on the fucking game. They have to pretend like this is going to be a hardship for them. Oh, how dare you, government, put some more restraints on me. You mean I can't charge that $78 fee for that one time that you paid one day late on your fucking charge card? Oh, how am I going to make any money? How am I going to live in my hundred room mansion? you now so <clears throat> don't be fooled by that please um, there's increased fighting in the Swat Valley in uh, Pakistan and um, this is supposedly the activity of the Taliban there in that region and uh, uh, it looks like there's going to be a lot of urban fighting there now in light of this our King, Lord, Master, High and Mighty Obama, all praise him, uh, says that they're going to give uh, a lot of assistance to the Pakistanis in their attempts to eliminate uh, the Taliban from that area. Now, uh, supposedly there's a stronghold of Taliban resistance in that area of Pakistan, and coincidentally enough also in the entire country of Afghanistan too because we're seeing continued military activity there as well um, but uh, it does appear as though what I have uh, talked about before is coming to pass and that is that there's a greater emphasis on on Pakistan uh, on the so-called tribal areas and uh, particularly right now in the SWAT region um, but again, uh, don't be fooled by any of these overt signs that things are, are progressing and that there may be some ultimate resolution to this matter because I absolutely guarantee that if, even if Pakistan is able to conquer that area and oust the supposed Taliban from there, where do you think they're going to go? into the mountains of Afghanistan again? I mean, what is this, back and forth? You're not going to defeat that enemy. The Russians couldn't do it, and they threw everything they fucking had at Afghanistan, and they couldn't do it. In fact, Afghanistan was probably one of the chief reasons why the USSR 
collapsed. Yeah, sure, the Cold War was in there too, but Afghanistan was a big part of that. And uh, they threw every fucking thing they had at Afghanistan, and they couldn't take it. So, here we are, not even putting in everything we have. And we're, we've been bogged down there since 2001. It's 2009. Does anybody even, does that even call, does that number even uh, register in your fucking mind? We've been in Afghanistan for eight fucking years. World War II lasted from December 1941 to approximately September of 1945. Do the math. For God's sake, do the fucking math. The last great world fucking war we're in for less than four years. And we've been in Afghanistan for going on eight. So over seven. Going on eight years. And it's worse. It's worse than it was a couple years ago. So what does that tell you? So, it, 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 there's, there's, no, uh, there, there's no end in sight for any of this. And, and if people give you an impression that somehow well, things are going to work out, that, oh, we're going to pour all these people in here, we're going to pour all this money and all this help into Pakistan and Afghanistan and everything else, and we're going we're gonna to solve it. You're fucking wrong. It's not going to happen. And, of course, now... We have Benjamin and Netanyahu, the Israeli Prime Minister, coming to the United States. He's under a lot of pressure, supposedly, from the Obama administration to work on a two-state solution with Israel and the Palestinians. Um, just to show how much of a humanitarian he is and how much he wants to uh, uh, um, give the impression that he's... Uh, uh, acquiescing to some of uh, some of the demands that are supposedly being put on him by the United States, um, he proceeded to bomb Gaza again. And uh, apparently, uh, what is being said about this is that the um, that the bombing was directed at uh, smuggling tunnels. Hmm. So, in other words, what you're saying is we have you completely fucking hemmed in. And uh, if you uh, if you don't like it, tough shit. And uh, so you're trying to get some desperately needed supplies through tunnels. So we're going to bomb the shit out of them too, so that you all die. So uh, thank you, uh, Israel. And uh, once again, thank you for showing us who really is the boss in this relationship, U.S. Israel because supposedly we're putting pressure on Netanyahu, and at the same time, he's fucking bombing Gaza and uh, killing more Palestinians and uh, trying to cut off what uh, little and limited um, supplies that they have coming in through these tunnels. So, uh, who's the boss in that relationship, I ask you? Thank you. Good night.